Welcome back guys, the doctor is in. Dr. Sean, hey, what's up? Good to see you, hope you're doing good. Today we are talking about deck terminology. That's head to toe, everything you need to know about the terms we frequently use when you're shopping on the site or trying to buy a new deck. To start out with, I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown, head to toe, what goes onto a deck. We got our head tube with our headset cups, the neck or the down tube. You got the actual deck itself, even though we refer to the whole thing as a deck, the deck extrusion. The bottom right here, you got your blunt plate or end caps. You have the sides of the deck right here. You got the bottom of the deck, the back end with the dropouts, this section right here, your brake, axle, and spacers. So hopefully I didn't lose you guys yet. That should all make sense to you. And if something stuck out, you're like, I'm actually not sure exactly what that means or why that's important. Stick around, we're gonna get you covered. Back to the headset cups. Pretty much any deck we're gonna sell today is gonna have integrated headset cups. And you don't really need to worry about that. It's just making your life so much easier. If you have a deck right now, you're upgrading your scooter and you don't see like this little divot right here, this, this cup or this nice little beveled edge right there, you might need to you know, upgrade the whole scooter. It's not gonna be really worth it. The industry standard is all integrated and it makes your life so easy. All you have to do is put in bearings and you're good to go. Then right here, this is what we call the head tube. Fork goes in through here, compression up here, and you're good to go. Why this is important is there's varying lengths of head tubes. So this isn't a big difference right here, but you can see between the district deck and the Envy deck, that one is a little bit longer. Let's say if you're running a shorter fork and a really long HIC shim, the bolt might not reach all the way to compress it. This is gonna be some small factors where even though technically you're gonna be able to run HIC on this, um, the tolerances, the spaces might just not line up. Of course, email us and give us a rundown of parts and we can always check it out and make sure it's good before you purchase it. With the down tube, all you really need to know is it goes from the head tube down to the deck. There's a bunch of different styles. Here we have a forged one that's gonna be hollow on the inside. We have one that's two pieces of aluminum welded to the bottom. You can see clear straight through it or heavily designed and making it really light right here. Deciding between what down tube you need is more of a personal preference, but we're gonna do a later video about choosing the right deck for you, so you'll definitely wanna stay tuned for that. And with head tube still is the head tube angle. What that's referring to is actually the angle of the head tube, which you now know, based off of a flat angle 90 degrees is gonna be straight up, and you can see this isn't quite straight up, so that's where you're gonna see what your head tube angle is. You're not gonna see a deck that's a 90 degree head tube angle, it's gonna be way too steep. Most of the time, they're from, I think maybe the mellowest now, we got is 82, 82.5, all the way up to 84. So those little bit of difference, you're like, it's only two degrees, like what's the big deal, 2.5? It makes a big difference when you're riding. Again, we'll get in depth later on. The front end of the deck, right underneath it, that's what we refer to as the blunt plate. And here you can see on this TSI box cutter as a completely solid blunt plate. There are a lot of different styles of blunt plates and it's all up to personal preference really. Some will have caps and then severely angled edges. Some will not have a welded on cap, but they'll have a plastic blunt plate. Others will be a mixture of the two, metaled, beveled, or we got a little bit of flat and some open too. Each deck company is kind of doing their own. We could show you every deck here, but we it wouldn't even have room. Now moving on to the deck extrusion, that's actually this flat piece right here. In scootering, they make these in giant, 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 30, 20 feet pieces and then cut them up into little sections. And each brand has their own reasons for what they're doing and there's a lot that goes into this. The top, that's where your feet are gonna go, has stuff like concave, whether it's completely flat on the top or there's a little bit of curve. The sides, where it's pretty popular now to be flat or some companies are still making it slightly, slightly curved down there. And then Addict is still staying true to the OG and they got about a 45 degree angle. The bottom of the deck, mostly you're gonna see grind rails. That's right there. The grind rails is actually what you're gonna be grinding on. So this will hit the rails, ramps, ledges first before this. And it can make the deck a little bit stronger. There's a new trend going around where flat bottoms are highly sought after. 
We only have a couple models, but you can see it's pretty apparent what I mean by flat bottom as opposed to having grind rails. And each company will do their own grind rails. You saw how Ethic or the Envy deck has two on the absolute edges, while this district deck has four little skinny ones. At the back end of the deck, we have our dropouts. You can either have completely square, completely beveled with not much square, Envy decks with the option to run a square back end or take it off and you'll have a little bit of 5.0 space there. District decks with a solid little piece here, but still an option to run pegs, or your more park, which tend to pretty much all be shaved and not have too much 5.0 space. 5.0 space, what's that? A 5.0 is a specific trick where all you're grinding on is right here. If you're running pegs, it's gonna be an ice pick. So if you're running this deck right here, you can see not a lot of space. You're running your ends on your Envy, a lot of space all the way up to something like the box cutter or the siren and a huge amount of space you can just see there if five o's or something you're looking for the difference in space available and then of course we have the brake available in many different styles you got your nylon you got your steel you got your fenders another factor is whether or not it's top mounted or if it is bottom mounted and of course, District is still keeping it true to the original, and there's a slide in. You see there's no hole on the bottom, no hole on the top, so it's slide in. So you either have to modify this guy if you want a different brake or stick with the stock brake. And very last is your hardware. It's gonna be an axle going through the back and spacers. Spacers matter depending on which wheel width you wanna run. Again, we have another video on that. And some decks will come with spacers you can fit all types of wheel widths or they'll just fit the industry standard like this one right here. If you need to get some new spacers or anything, make sure you're buying it for your deck because they're all gonna be slightly different. You can see the difference between these two decks right here, making it really apparent the different type of spacers for your deck there are. Then we can go all the way over and check out the box cutter. It's a, it's a big one. I can almost not even pick it up with one hand. And then there's actually no removable spacers on the box cutter. They're integrated into the deck and very skinny. There you have it guys. There is top to bottom, all the terminology we use when describing decks on our website. Hopefully this gets you a better idea of what exactly you're kind of looking for. And if you're seeing these numbers up, head tube angle, crook space, 5.0 space, you know exactly what it's describing. If you still want a little bit more help, like how do I choose the right deck for me? Don't worry. Stay tuned for part two, coming soon to a home theater near you. You're probably on your iPad or your iPhone. Well, I'm gonna be there with you. I'm gonna be in your pocket. We're gonna describe everything in even more detail. What is the head to bingle effect? Like, uh, okay, I, I like this kind of writing. What deck should I get? I got you, but you just gotta wait. Stay tuned for part two. Make sure to like, subscribe. Check us out on all of our social media. See you next time.